Good afternoon, my brothers and sisters in Christ. It is your girl, Kish Kim, here with a brief minute motivation. The title of today's message is The Holy Spirit Convicts. This uh, message is based on testimonies this week and lifetime testimonies. But the closer I grow in my relationship with the Lord, the Holy Spirit convicts me quickly. So what does the Bible say in Matthew 18? I believe it's 21 through 22. Do not just forgive your brother seven times, but 70 times seven. That means continuously forgive your brother. That's what the Bible says. Um, and my brothers and sisters in Christ. So this week, my cousin, the one that um, participates in the live Bible studies with me, me and her got into a little rift. It was something really serious and something that could actually drive families apart. But it was a disagreement concerning something. Both of us had the best intentions. But I in my past, have held on to grudges, grudges for so long that I would never forgive someone. I would wait until Christ comes and then not be forgiven myself because the Bible teaches us that we need to forgive our brothers and sisters, right? Well, I wasn't obeying that. I would hold on to a grudge for the rest of my life. Now, when me and her got into this little argument, it was very brief, but it was significant. I, we got off the phone with one another and I was like, I'm never talking to her again. I'm done, etc. Yes, my cousin, my cousin that is more like my sister. And the Holy Spirit literally convicted me in that moment because the Lord knows me. The Lord created me and was like, forgive and forgive quickly. So as soon as I felt that in my spirit, I didn't even think about it. I called her immediately and regardless if I was right or wrong, I apologized to her and she accepted and we we went about our day. Now, that doesn't mean that whatever we talked about wasn't significant, but see, the enemy is looking for a porthole into your life. He's looking for an avenue to cause problems, to cause chaos in your life. And if you're holding on to grudges, that is one way, right? But the Holy Spirit will always convict you if you are sticking close to the Lord. The Holy Spirit will convict you. In addition to that, um, you know, when you're not supposed to be doing something, for example, uh, let's say you're out getting drunk or you're at the club or you're doing something that is contrary to what the word of God says or contrary to what the will of God is for your life, right? Right. So the Holy Spirit will come in and convict you like that tap on the shoulder or that whisper that you need to get out of there or that you need to stop doing that. I know there's a lot of people who share testimonies about that, the Holy Spirit convicting them. My brothers and sisters in Christ, we can't do everything that everybody else is doing. We are children of God. And as children of God, we have a higher standard. We are held to a higher standard and the Holy Spirit will come in and will convict but we have to be keen to the Holy Spirit, right? We have to know what the Holy Spirit is saying to us. And we have to we have to act quickly. Just like when the Holy Spirit told me to forgive my cousin, I did it immediately. I didn't even let it sit there and resonate with me because in past times, I would have to think about it for a long time and eventually come to a decision that I'm not going to forgive. Well, I need to be forgiven on Judgment Day, right? So I need to forgive my brothers and sisters in Christ. So my brothers and sisters, this message is about the Holy Spirit convicting you. You will only know that by having a relationship with God, right? The Holy Spirit is our convictor. We can't do everything that everybody else is doing. I hope this message blesses you. And until next time, God bless you in the name of Jesus.